start us off? Yep. Um, Kelsey Russell, The Athletic. Jared, JB was saying that this game was a really collective effort from all of you guys and a really complete game. What did you see on that front? Uh, we just all came out with the same mindset together just to come dominate the game at the beginning, uh, set the tone, and just keep it going for the full 48. And knowing that obviously there's some emotions there with, with Donovan playing against Utah, mm -hmm. what was the mindset for you guys as a team and just kind of knowing where, where he was at and what did you see from him to do too? Uh, he was in a stable mindset. I don't think there was he showed any malice to the Utah Jazz. He just knew that it was not necessarily another game, but a night to go out there and just play his game, prove why uh, he helps this team win. <laughs> Danny? Danny Cunningham, ESPN Cleveland. Jared, did you guys, did you think this was the most complete game you guys have played this year? Uh, I think it was up there. I, I don't remember the other games too much, so I can't give you a definite answer. But I do think, like, like you said, round, take everything. We were good on defense. We shared the ball on offense. Uh, we did everything to the best of our ability tonight. How important has Isaac been to what you guys have been doing defensively as of late? All right, he's been huge. Yeah, I don't think he gets enough credit for how much he helps our defense, how much he guards the toughest or the best guy on the floor every single night, how he sacrifices his body. Uh, it's tough. Yeah, he doesn't get frustrated when he gets a lot of fouls. Uh, we kind of lean on him for a lot of things. Uh, that's integral to the team. Chris? Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Hey, Jared. Hey, how you doing? I know you touched on this a little bit already, but... When it comes to Donovan playing against his old team, mm -hmm. even though like you guys aren't feeling the same emotions that he is, right. can you still feel the magnitude of, of what it meant? I, I didn't feel it personally. I was talking to him to before the game, and he was saying, you know, he knows he's playing his old team, but he doesn't think it's a huge deal. Like, obviously, he knows the stipulations behind it, but he's not trying to make it like, the revenge game, and that's what he told me. <laughs> and then for you guys, as, as you continue to progress throughout the course of this season, mm -hmm. where do you feel like you are right now, and how do you feel about the evolution of this team? It's coming good. I think this is a step in the right direction in terms of coming out and playing Cleveland Cavaliers basketball. I know we throw that term out quite a bit, but I think just like you said, it was a full game tonight from start to finish, and that's where we're trying to get, not trying to slack off. Uh, we did it again in the start of the third quarter, but <laughs> just trying to play that full 48. Thank you. No problem. Kelsey? Um, what, what stands out about Donovan's just personality and like just how would you describe who he is as a human and not necessarily basketball? Right. He's just a, a good human being. You know, if you met him on the street, other than him looking athletic, you wouldn't know he's a basketball player. He's just coming in. He's a caring guy. He wants to make sure everybody's okay. He wants to make sure everybody's, you know, uh, being happy. He just likes making sure everything's okay. Yeah. Alex Henry, WCIP. This was a bigger game for you in terms of scoring. Was there any uh, turning point going into tonight? Um, you know, uh, you asked me what I think. Um, for me, I had uh, breakfast for dinner last night. <laughs> you know, I, uh, but I had a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. You know, that was... <laughs> I think that's why I did so well. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Anything else? One last question. Uh, Jared Logan, WCIP Akron. Uh, you guys currently have the best home record in the NBA. Can you describe what it means to play in an environment like Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland all together? Right. Uh, I'll start with say when I was in Brooklyn, you heard rumors about playing in Rocket Mortgage. Like they have the best fans. You don't really realize it until you play here. And then playing here every night, I think we get used to it. How good our fans are, how much they cheer for us, uh, how much they're here through thick and thin. You know, it's we have an amazing crowd that always pushes us forward every night. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Kelsey. Kelsey Rose the Athletic. Running out of ways to ask you this, but what stood out tonight, especially about Donovan? <laughs> uh, this was about the team. You know what I mean? I know, um, you know Donovan's a hell of a player and deserves a lot of credit, but this was about our team tonight. Uh, I thought everybody went out, um, played with a purpose. Um, played together, played the right way. Um, so this was a team win tonight. And as, as 
you have been looking for those team wins and, fight and having guys contribute, like what strap away that they were able to do so and what was different about that, I guess? I think we just did what we were supposed to do for longer periods of time. Um, you know, I think coming out of the third quarter, you know, we let them go on a little run. But other than that, I thought we played a pretty good game uh, in total. Danny Cunningham, yes, Pink Jimmy, do you think this was the most complete game you guys have played all season? Uh, I mean, I thought we played well tonight. Um, you know, I thought we played, you know, we could have played better defense in the second half. Um, but again, we did enough to win. How important has Isaac been lately to what you guys are doing defensively? Uh, I mean, he's a guy who can take individual challenges. You know, we know he's a guy who's capable of shutting people down and, um, you know, keeping you in positions where you don't have to do a lot of help. So uh, he, he definitely helps. He takes pressure off everybody because he can contain his man. Joe. Joe Barn, The Athletic. So Donovan played 23 minutes-ish tonight, and I know he had four fouls. Was was it a foul trouble thing or, or a score flow? Well, he, he picked up his fourth with like five to go in the third. Um, you know, and we just continued to build the lead, so I didn't think there was a reason uh, to put him back. Um, so that was the reason behind it. I mean, he's played quite a bit of minutes so far this year. I mean, how good does that make you feel to get through a game against a good team, an emotional game for him, and only have to play him for 23 minutes? I mean, I think it's something with all of our guys making sure we can manage uh, their load, you know, and I think that's where – you know, as we continue to grow, you know, you take care of business um, and you can find yourself in some of those positions more often than not. You know, we've put ourselves in some tough predicaments by getting big leads and losing leads in fourth quarters in particular where your guys have to rack up minutes. So I think this is something about, you know, just growth for us uh, and being able to play, you know, consistently throughout the four quarters. Spence. Spencer Davies, best one. Is that count? Twenty something odd fast break points tonight. Uh, a lot of that one more that Jerry keeps talking about on the passing. Um, is there just more legs tonight? Do you think? And, and how do you feel like that defense that dictated your offense in this evening? I mean, I thought we, you know, especially in the first half, we did a really good job defensively. Um, you know, creating some turnovers, but. You know, they shoot a lot of threes when you shoot threes and they were, you know, what, five for 20 in the first half. There's a lot of long rebounds, which allows your break to get started. Um, so I think that was more so, you know, what we were looking for is like we want to be able to convert into layups and dunks if possible. Um, you know, we'll take early threes also. But uh, if we can't find that, that's when we want to control the game. So uh, if we can find those, you know, we're interested in running for the easy ones. And uh, Kevin, uh, you know, ended up making a pretty big impact there in the first half as well. Um, how have you felt about his minutes since he's come back? And, and tonight it seemed like he just had a little bit more of, of a flow and a, a rhythm to him. Yeah, I think the ball found his hands. You know what I mean? And we all know what he's capable of. He's a, you know, elite playmaker, space floor. Um, you know that that type of floor spacer, I say. <laughs> um, but you know, I mean, we know what he's capable of. So. Um, you know, the more the ball touches his hands, he gets his rhythm, the better it is for everybody. Evan. Evan Debra, right down Eagle. JD, uh, we talked about Larry a lot pregame, but a guy we didn't touch on is Colin. And you've been coaching him for a really long time. You've known him for a really long time. And he was out all of last year, but he didn't play tonight, but he's playing this season. How does it feel for you, just as a guy who's probably close to Colin, just to see him back out there playing? I mean, you, you, that's what this is about. You know what I mean? Like, you always want to see the guys doing what they love, especially the guys you know who put the time in. Uh, to make sure um, that they can be at their best. And, I mean, Colin is a tireless worker. Uh, he went through so much here but was never deterred. Um, all he wanted to do was get on the floor and help. Um, so, you know, you're always happy to see him back on the floor and playing at a high level and helping a team win. And in terms of just Isaac, his impact was huge on both ends of the floor. But you talk about how you don't want him playing in a box. Was tonight a good example of him just playing a little bit more freely in the flow of the offense? Yeah, I mean, there's so much out there for him. Uh, and there's things that he's capable of doing. You know what I mean? Like, he helps us in transition. He can get out and run. Um, you know, he's a great cutter. He's a really good offensive rebounder. And he's a really good passer. So there's so many things that he's capable of. Uh, we just got to continue to find him in those spots. Last one, Kelsey. Um, Jetty hit those three threes tonight, and the bench was go crazy. Kind of has been that spark that we've talked about. How? What is it about him that allows him to sort of ride the ebb and flow and, and be able to hit those shots when – when, you know, kind of in the um, I mean, it, it is, you know, kind of a phenomenon, you know what I mean? Like, he's one of those guys who has the ability, you know, to pull a crowd in uh, and to be a momentum shifter, 
you know, like when he sees that first one go, uh, you can bet there's more that's going to follow. And his teammates love it. The fans love it. Um, and he's that spark for us that we need. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. You too.